What is going on YouTube? This is Mr. Pilot and as you can see on the screen we have some Battlefield 3 multiplayer maps. Well we've only had four confirmed at the moment. This first one, Operation Firestorm. I'm actually reading this off the website that well for Battlefield Blog and this website this um map is supported in all game modes which is gonna be good because then you see the size of it you can probably have it in all game modes there. Um so the basically the the backstory behind this map is the US and the Russia and Russia launch a large scale assault to control Iran's biggest source of oil. Securing this area will offer full control of the sector and its key facilities. And there's also like from the game developer, there's also like notes on the map, um, just down like just under it. And it's he says for this one, um, it's one of the largest maps and one of the most vehicle friendly maps. Um, it's class. It's a classic battlefield gameplay um, taken to the extremes, which of which sounds absolutely amazing. Um, it's wait. It says here, um, size-wise and with some puzzle skills, you could actually place three Atacama Deserts, one of the largest maps from Bad Company 2, within the playable area of Operation Firestorm. Now that means this map is freaking huge. If you don't remember. Atacama Desert was a giant map, and if this map is going to be that big, then sorry guys, but it's going to have to be jets, helicopters, and tanks, and stuff like that to get around. If you're going to try and run the whole map, you're screwed. I'm not even joking. But yeah, that's that first map done. Now, this second map, Operation Metro, you obviously saw it in the beta. Um, this will be supported for all game types as well. I wonder what Conquest would be like on this map. Um, they would probably use, yeah. It, it, it could be good, you know. Um, but yes, um, the fiction between this is heavy fighting is expected as US forces push to secure the financial district central area in Paris. Russian anti-air em emplacements in the Charadoni Park are likely to be the first target. Yeah, and um, the game developer, the designer of thought, said Operation Metro is the map from E3 and Open Beta, so we're all familiar with it. Um, it perfectly illustrates that we want to take our players on a journey, especially in Rush. Rush. You can see how Operation Metro is almost three maps within one. You start out in the Lush Park, then move to a bombed out section of the subway tunnels to finally emerge in a distant, uh, dense urban environment outside the Paris Stock Exchange. Um, so yeah, obviously you've seen Operation Metro before, you've played in the beta, there's not actually much to talk about for this map. So we're going to head right on to the next map. Now this next map is called Terran Highway. Um, it says here on the website that it is obviously supporting all game modes, um, infantry fighting in tight city streets. So this is kind of like a Call of Duty players map, basically. Um, okay, so fiction: a fight for control of access routes near Tehran. U.S. forces make a push from the hills under cover of darkness, while Russians have set up defensive positions along the main entrance points. So as you can see, there's a trend of America versus Russia here. I guess this is carrying on from Bank Only 2 where Russia's taking the whole world and America are just trying to sort it out. Um, the designer's thoughts on this map, one of the most inspirations, well one of the inspirations for this map was a photo of the nighttime skyline of Tehran, which now is basically the same vista that is available in the game. So I guess that they've based this map on what the of what the city Tehran actually looks like in real life, which that is pretty awesome, you know. If I if I was from Tehran and I played this game, I was like, oh, I'm running down my street shooting people. That I mean, it, it obviously like sounds stupid, but it'll be pretty good. It says here it's um semi open with plenty of room for vehicles. So obviously this is going to be like a map, kind of like Port Valdez, I can guess. Like with it's got enough space for vehicles, but then a lot for infantry as well. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, on to the next map now. Now this next map that they've confirmed is called Damavand Peak. Um, they say here on the website that obviously it's supporting all game modes. Um, it's fighting in mountainy winter conditions, which we have seen a lot of in Bad Company 2 with Cold War and Port Valdez. Um, the fiction behind this is a rugged mountain area plays a major role in defend deciding whether Russian or US troops are successful in combat operations in the sector, as the area is home to key radar illustra illustrations. So I guess this is like a, um, radar base that America and Russia are trying to get both here and so this this could be a really good map it says here that this 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 map um 
was alternative was internally known as base jump as it's built on the idea that players can base jump from the image on screen right now um you can see it's like a big mountain like thing you can probably base jump off that now that would be awesome just running off there base jumping off that would be absolutely epic 500 meter uh, down to 500 meter defense um the attackers in russian squad rush will start up on the high mountain ridge um above the mining facility so obviously this could have once been a mining a town or like place that the miners used to go to and they've turned it into an old radar facility which does seem pretty cool um, there's also a large tunnel section dug into the side of the mountain in the bottom of the map so this map seems like it's going to be outside and a lot inside um, so yeah this is going to be pretty awesome I'm going to have another video for you guys tomorrow about the five remaining multiplayer map reveals so till next time stay on the battlefield YouTube peace